Hey guys, it's Megan Strickland, or if you follow me on Facebook, um, I am Megan Leland. Um, I was asked to share with all of you how I go about getting, um, I guess, what's considered high PGV. Um, this pay period so far, I have around $8,100 in PGV. Last pay period, I had 67 and the one before that was around $7,100. Um, so I have never actually put my method of madness together and organized it in a way to really explain to people what I do. Um, I tend to multitask and I'm all over the place. So um, bear with me. I'm going to try to explain um, what I do and what's worked for me. This is kind of just what I've done since the beginning and it um, has always just worked for me and I've picked up things along the way and just added those in. Of course, always following the success system that is number one and always always the most useful tool for me and then also like you hear all the time that's ingrained in your brain is the fortune is in the follow-up and um i am still following up with people since i started two and a half years ago that i first reached out to so um the first thing um that i always do every month and that i've done since the very beginning and like i said for two and a half years um i set two group challenges a month that go along with the pay period so we're coming up on a pay period close. So for anybody um, that wanted to do a challenge from last Tuesday until this Tuesday, they had to sign up um, for a challenge. And then this Wednesday coming up until next Tuesday, they would sign up for the next challenge that would start a week from that this coming Monday. Um, if that makes sense, um, I can always clarify it for anybody. But there's always two pay, um, two challenges that I ran. And for me, that brought in new retail sales, um, brought in new customers, wholesale customers, and hopefully um, future business builders. Um, so that's the first way that I was starting to bring in that PGV. Um, now, if you're an advisor, um, obviously every pay period, my first goal is to get to that $1,000 PGV mark as fast as possible because that unlocks all the other ways of getting paid with Advocare. So the start of every pay period, I always put in um, my own order for whatever products that I need. Um, I do all of my follow-ups, and I know we all just had that all-in challenge, but obviously a lot of people still were unable to get started so I go back and follow up with all of those people um, and it's tax season now so everyone's getting their taxes back so they definitely want to now start um, using that money to get started and then I um, go with my new distributors um, anyone that had previously signed up the pay period before um, I start getting them in first qualification, second qualification, and so forth towards advisor. That's one of my main goals. And then if I had somebody new that I was talking to, that first start of that new pay period is when I get that new distributor signed up and then I start talking to them and showing them the benefits. If they're not going all in, then how to get to advisor, getting first and second qualification. And if in that... Um, you know, first few days or that first week we meet that first qualification, um, I always set a new goal with them and say, let's see if we can get to that next one. So we're setting um, smaller goals within bigger goals. I'm all about goals um, and exceeding them. Um, once I've hit that $1,000 PGV, aside from growing my team um, to get those overrides and hitting my mark, my main focus is then new distributors. Um, or keeping people in qualification and working with them one-on-one -on -one to get them to those um, uh, new qualification marks. Um, and then I always let them know whatever we're doing from the minute you sign up as a distributor to the point of you hitting advisor, we're gonna. this is your training period. So whatever we go over here, this is exactly what we're gonna duplicate once we get into the rookie bonus. Um, I'm trying to see what else I do here. Um, the other thing is um, I've really gotten into leapfrogging like everyone's done. So maybe I have a few frontline distributors that had signed up, but they're not really doing anything. But when they got signed up for their challenge, they, you know, accidentally, because they weren't really sure what they were doing, got a few other friends involved that signed up. 
as a distributor underneath them just for the discount. Um, occasionally I'll start seeing volume happening underneath them. So I will leapfrog over and contact them and just let them know, hey, by chance did you know, you know, if we did so much more, you're going to get a higher discount. And I'm not sure if you knew that there was an opportunity to earn income. Is that something that would interest you? And I kind of just give a brief overview of my story and how that helped me. Um, so that's really huge. Um, a lot of my business or my PGV comes from the fact of leapfrogging. I actually just did that recently. I had a girl sign up and then um, she got me on a phone call with two girls for the All In Challenge and they did awesome. She kind of just stepped aside and didn't do much of anything and I just helped the other one um, put in her advisor order this past week because I stayed in touch with her throughout the whole 24 day challenge. Um, and that's something else I did really early on. Um, I created my own private group page and I did that primarily because it was before we had the virtual coach and I had taken everything that was on the virtual coach before we had it and had put that into my own group page. And that was my way of keeping track not only of my team, but anyone who signed up um, to do the business on my team. That was a way of just keeping track of everybody by adding them to this group page. It was a way for even if some of my distributors fell off, I still was able to be very hands-on with anyone that they got signed up, um, that I would be able to check in with them or share the business opportunity with them. And right now there's about five or 600 people on that since I started. So those are the first ones that I go to to follow up or share things with. And, um, can get new business from. Um, I think those are pretty much my main things that I do. I'm trying to look at my notes here. I'm all over. Um, and I just wanted to say, um, I, I have about 90 frontline distributors, but out of those 90, I probably know 10 of them personally. And out of the handful of distributors I have, I probably know five uh, advisors. I'm sorry. I probably know only five of them personally. And um, really, my business has come from just connecting with the people that other people connect me with and really um, getting them plugged in. And if someone's not going to do the 24 day challenge, get them started on any products, anything that they can afford. If they can't afford the 24 day challenge, I always ask, what can what can we do within your budget to get you started? And once they tell me and give me that number, then I say, hey, if you go find one or two other friends, we can increase that discount, which means you can get more products. And these are all the ways I'm constantly edifying them and how it can benefit them to reach their personal goals or bring it back to the financial aspect of it. Um, what I just did recently and what's been working um, with a lot of my new challengers on the all in, I had a girl three days in and was already getting these great results and feeling incredible and sent me her transformations already. And I just said, do you trust me? I was like, throw this up on your Facebook page. Don't mention Advocare. Don't mention the 2040 challenge. Just post the same enthusiasm that you just uh, sent me through a text message. Um, Cause she already wanted products. Um, for moving forward and we already talked about becoming a distributor so um, often and I learned early on if you post anything right away saying Advocare the 24 day challenge a lot of time you're gonna miss a lot of business because people are just gonna go google it and start looking at numbers and not realizing we have discount opportunities um, earning income or other ways of getting started for less co a less costly price so um, I had her throw that up there and I said anybody that comments bring it right to a group um, right to a private message. Just share briefly what um, it's done for you so far and ask them if they're interested. And from there, we'll take it and apply the success system by getting on a three-way call or even just opening up into a group message and then moving it to a three-way call. And she did exactly that. She was amazing and in less than four weeks, we made it a priority to get about 14 people. She got them all signed up. Uh, hit advisor in that time frame. She had a few other friends start the 24 day challenge and they did exactly what she did in the first week they posted and became a distributor and they're all actively working now to become a distributor. So these are just kind of the ways that, um, I, I guess get my PGV up there. I'm constantly talking to new people to get new people signed up, whether it's a wholesale customer or a business builder. I am doing follow ups with people that, from two and a half years um, up into new people that I'm meeting right now, I'm 
working with my new distributors to get in qualification or to get to advisor, leapfrogging over new frontline or old frontline distributors and constantly checking in with everybody. And I make it a priority for all those that my challenges are bringing in, whether they ordered retail or the, a distributor to personally um, reach out or talk to them or add them to my Facebook page so that I can check in with them just the same. Um, you never know where your next diamond is going to be or your next business builder. It might not be the first person that you talk to. The majority of the team that I have built are people that I primarily do not know um, and way out in California and all these different places, but it was just taking that little extra time to connect to those people, show an interest in their goals, and just showing them the gift that Avacare has offered us, whether it was better health or the financial aspect. Um, and of course, everyone loves um, a discount. So guys, I don't know how scattered this was in um, my conversations, but I hope this helped. And again, definitely set those group challenges. Um, if you just leave it up to everybody and just say, hey, you can order whenever, um, they might not come around, but I've learned if you give people deadlines and time frames when to order, um, and when you're starting these challenges, it helps shuttle them and it also helps give you a better idea of where your PGV is and where your paycheck is going to be for the end of um, the pay period and going into the next one. So I hope this helped. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, guys.